Teacher Talk on Sports, what it does, what do, how we live in. In the year 2000, the Cincinnati Bearcats were one of the top college basketball teams. Looked like they would be one of the favorites to win the national championship. That was until star player Kenya Martin broke his leg in the Conference USA tournament. Uh, did not play in the NCAA tournament. Cincinnati dropped to a number two seed. Uh, were not able to advance far and... Kenya Martin was the first overall pick in the 2001 NBA draft. Well, two decades plus later in college football, there was just as big a critical injury late in the season. Very unfortunate. I'm sure many of you college football fans have seen it. Jordan Travis, major leg ankle injury um, taken to on an ambulance. So... Highly, 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 highly unlikely he plays again this season for 11-0 Florida State. Of course, his injury happened early in the first quarter. We see Travis has 20 touchdowns compared to just two interceptions on the season. Arguably was top five in Heisman voting, um, you know, if voting were to take place. Of course, he won't end there, but uh, been an incredible season for Travis and Florida State. Eleven and zero, still got, still got a lot to fight for. They want that uh, spot in the college football playoff. Well, his replacement was Tate Tate Roadmaker. So CBS Sports. Uh, who was Tade Roadmaker, Florida State backup quarterback, tasked with leading college football playoff charge after Jordan Travis injury. So it mentions that he played well in relief, completing 13 and 23 passes for 217 yards and two touchdowns in just three quarters. Well, you have to keep in mind they did play in FCS school in North Alabama, uh, but he's thrown 70 career passes leading the Week 12, played 61.4% of them for 550 yards five touchdowns five interceptions however he's consistently gotten better over his tenure throwing five touchdowns and just 31 pass attempts in 2023 so roadmaker likely to start the rivalry game against florida in week 13 the acc championship game against louisville on december 2nd uh so roadmaker initially committed to south florida uh he actually became norville's first commitment um so he quickly became a target for Norville soon after he arrived at Florida State, offered Roadmaker a scholarship just three days after taking the Florida State job. Uh, Roadmaker was rated the number 12 pro-style quarterback in the class of 2020 in the 24-7 sports ratings. So again, extremely unfortunate injury to Jordan Travis. Uh, definitely could play a huge role in the college football playoff. Tate, Tate, Tate Roadmaker will be likely starting uh, each of the last two games. And the bowl game, uh, will it be a bowl game or will it be a game in the college football playoff? Of course, in last week's rankings, Florida State was fourth. You wonder if they drop to fifth. Uh, due to the injury and Washington beating a much better team, uh, so their strength and schedule uh, definitely looks even better compared to Florida State as Washington State barely squeaked by but did beat Oregon State. I mean, you wonder if even Oregon has a chance to pass Florida State, which would be extremely unfortunate. Um, because they're still undefeated, but Oregon has looked incredible since their tough defeat at the hands of Washington. Um, I was trying to see if they had a spread for the Florida State-Florida game. I wanted to see how much it changed, but there was no spread. But they do have the college football um, national championship odds, so uh, let me get to that. Unfortunately, it kicked me off. Uh, that was, um, this would be a DraftKings Sportsbook. So they have the eighth best odds now. So Georgia's plus 240, Michigan plus 260, Ohio State plus 550, Oregon plus 600, Alabama plus 650, Washington plus 1100, Texas plus 1400, Florida State plus 3000. So down to the eighth best odds for the national championship. Uh, of course, we will have a loser in Ohio State, Michigan. So if Florida State were to find a way to stay undefeated, um, 
I think they still would get in the college football playoff, but let me know in the comments what you think about Florida State's chances with Tate Roadmaker. Um, keep in mind, it was 2014. The Ohio State Buckeyes were actually down to their third-string quarterback when they won the national championship. Uh, Braxton Miller was expected to be the starter for the season. He got hurt just before the season began. JT Barrett ended up starting the whole season until he got injured in the regular season finale and in came Cardell Jones uh, to help guide Ohio State to the national championship defeating Oregon in the national championship game so it won't be unprecedented to see a backup quarterback uh, take a team to the national championship anyhow don't forget to subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe like the video share the video hit the bell for notifications I'm out